Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. We are in, um, we're continuing our journey in, in Mark chapter 9, verses 38 through 42. And it says this, Master, this is John saying this to Jesus, Master, we saw another man casting out unclean spirits in your name, but he was not one of our group, so we told him to stop what he was doing. Jesus said instead, you shouldn't have said that. Anyone using my name to do a miracle cannot turn quickly to speak evil of me. Anyone who isn't against us is for us. The truth of the matter is this. Anyone who gives you a cup of cool water to drink because you carry the name of your anointed one will be rewarded. But if anyone turns even the smallest of my followers away from me, it will be better for him if someone had hung a millstone around his neck and flung him into the deepest part of the sea. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you for, um, thank you for this, that those who are not against us are for us. And um, thank you that your name has power and uh, at your name the spirits have to flee. Thank you for that. Help us to live in light of that today. Um, Lord, also thank you for this idea that giving a cup of cool water is ministry. It seems so simple. We try to make everything really, really complicated that what ministry is and really what it is, is hospitality. And hospitality is not just having people around a table. It's, it's relieving the thirst or slaking the thirst of those who are thirsty. It's helping those who um, cannot help themselves. It's interceding for people and praying for them when they don't have the strength to continue on. It's to be like Moses, um, uh, it's to be like Aaron and her on the side of Moses when he could not keep his arms uh, raised anymore. To serve you is to serve others, to give them the strength that we have and the strength with, with which we have received from you. To encounter you and then to let that encounter of you be what informs us to love others. Jesus, so many times in the Gospels you said that we need to love God above all else and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so I pray that that simplicity would inform us today, that we would take a moment to worship you, whether that means in musical worship or just saying it out loud that we love you or um, spending some time that's just quiet and alone with you, hearing your still small voice speak over us, that we would spend the time to worship you to say that you are worthy, that you are famous, we are not, that you are glorious and we are not, you are powerful and we are not, you are great and we are your servants. Lord, help us to revere you, to praise you, to worship you. Thank you that worship is not just singing songs on Sunday morning, but worship is our lifestyle. It is the oxygen of heaven. It is what we do now to prepare for eternity. So Lord, help us to prepare for eternity by worshiping you right now. And conversely, Lord, as we worship you, we have to remember that there is a dying world out there that desperately needs to know that you love them. And so we are to love the people in our sphere. And I can't love the people um, uh, that are in the spheres of those listening to this podcast today. We all have individual unique spheres of influence. And I, I pray for my friend listening today that you would empower them to love well, to worship you, then love others in their circle, Lord. Thank you for the, the importance and the surprise that you use your people to carry out your will on this earth. You didn't have to do that, but you have created your body to be your extension on this earth, to usher in the kingdom, to, um, to help those who are suffering and to alleviate the pain and to bring justice to an unjust world. Lord, we are part of that and we just thank you for having us, um, just giving us the privilege of being a part of your arms and feet to this world. Thank you for that, Lord. It's humbling. It's surprising. It's, um, it's beautiful. So we just thank you for the unique privilege it is to share you with others. And I pray all of this in your other loving name. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I really appreciate it. If you want to help us out, you can certainly leave a review on iTunes or Stitcher. If you're really, really tired, you can just click a little star and give us a star. That will help. Uh, five stars is actually better than one. Um, 
or you can write a two to three sentence review. I'd really appreciate that. It helps get it into the hands of those around the world. So have an amazing day and please know you are prayed for and you are loved.